Hey, good evening. It's me, Darmageddon. Darmageddon well. Uh, Darmageddon to the point where I'm starting to really think my own thoughts and uh, kind of be able to clear my thoughts and separate them from the thoughts of others or kind of my connections and attachments to others, which are many and interwoven. Um, I lead a beautiful and wonderful life that I dearly love and I'm very, very attached to. I really would love to hold on to it for a really long time. But, um, you know, today, just after uh, really thinking about a lot of things that I'm processing right now and, uh, you know, talking with my family about them and just kind of talking myself and thinking myself and, you know, meditating on these things, I think I'm ready to... Um, I'm ready to get ready to die. I mean, I've been getting ready, but I'm ready to um, I don't want to say stop fighting because I'm, I'm still fighting for my life, but I'm I think I'm ready to stop trying different substances and therapies that aren't gonna buy me that much time anyway. So, you know, so far it seems that the immunotherapy is not working like at all. And so I do have another infusion scheduled for Wednesday and I need to decide before then if I'm going to do that. And if I do, you know, then I would of course give it more time to work. But my oncologist says that we would expect it to have started working already and we would not expect to have had like the increase in cancer and explosion of tumors that we do see in my body. So um, then also there's a tumor that, you know, I've been asking about, but they didn't see it in the last scan, but there is actually something in here that um, is, it's not huge, but it's like two by three centimeters. And, uh, it's uh, it's not in my lung. I have some in my lungs too, but it's it's on the outside of my lung, and so it's attached to the pleura, and it's you know all up in my organs, and it could possibly be radiated to alleviate my pain for some amount of time. But you know it's a pretty pretty risky place, so I do have an appointment, but not till August 9th, which really looks far away from me for me right now with how I feel. Um, but so that could possibly be radiated for some level of comfort or, you know, some kind of fallout from doing that kind of thing to that part of my body. So we'll see. But a uh, part of me is also just like the part of me that's just listening to the spirit. Um, the spirit is telling me, you know, it's your time. And you can fight it and you can do all these things and that's all good, you know, it's all awesome. You know, cause it's your life and it's beautiful and you get to choose, you know? And then since I do get to choose, I really, you know, have always wanted to die how I live. And so I really do want my body to be like as pure and clean and close to the way that it was when I came into this world as I can make it. Now, obviously, um, I am not in a position, well, I'm, I have a choice, but I'm not going to stop taking pain medication because I actually can't function. And I would like to be, you know, somewhat lucid and able to communicate and, you know, function to whatever the limits of my abilities are until the end. And I, I would like to be as comfortable as possible. And uh, that's not even very comfortable with all the drugs, but, you know, I'm doing the best I can with the support that's available. But yeah, so I think I'm, I'm still, you know, taking everything into consideration, but I think just, if I listen to myself talking about what I'm hearing from the universe and what my body's telling me and what the spirit is telling me. And even if I look back, like what I saw, I don't see a future for myself after this summer. And, um, I just have it, um, you know, I want it, I dream of it, I hope for it, but I haven't seen that. And like, 
you know, I don't think I can go back to work and, you know, I'm not going to just lay in my bed on pills for months and months and months. That's, that's just disrespecting myself in this life. So anyway, those are some of my thoughts here today and uh, I will continue to process my thoughts and, uh, you know, go through the motions and, uh, you know, check out all the options and, you know, evaluate them fairly and realistically and yeah, we'll see what happens. So anyway, happy healing and, you know, a beautiful life to each and every one of you and super grateful for the life that I have. So yeah, keep on living and loving.